All right, guys, if you want to be dominant on your drives, we got to look at the details of how we're picking up the basketball. There's so many athletes that drive in and get it stripped because of the way that we pick it up. If you master these five pickup options, you're going to get the ball stolen much less and you're going to score a lot more points. All right, so our first one is a low sweeping pickup. So you see James Harden do this all the time. Let me give you the number one mistake that players make. They come through and when the help side defender reaches in, the ball bounces back up to their hip and then they try to sweep low towards the floor it's not gonna work you gotta kill it low and the lower he's reaching in the lower i have to kill it so after we sweep through we got options if you do feel that foul obviously we got to go straight up you know straight arms sweep through go straight into that layup so that we can get the foul hopefully get that and one so sometimes you'll see players like Kyrie come through with the two hands and then extend it to that inside hand to get a little bit of separation from this defender. So you would actually come to that inside hand and then either finish right hand or if you have enough separation, like in this play, I actually switch back to the left. So it's tough to visualize. Uh, there, there's so many different situations that you can get to depending on where your defenders are. All right, our next one is the high pickup. So now if we got a defender really reaching low, like think about you got a small little scrappy guard coming in and he can get down six inches from the floor, but well, we're not gonna be able to go under them. And so in that situation, we would pound and bring it to two hands over the head. So I'm getting nice and high. So you gotta know the situation. If I'm 5'11 driving and a guy who's 6'8 is coming, standing straight up, obviously if I get up, he's gonna be able to strip that. But if I get low, he's not gonna be able to get down there. But if I'm driving and my help side defender is 6'1", and I can tell by his body positioning that he's gonna reach low, then that's when I would go up above and I would do that overhead pickup. All right, so our next one is the double arm cradle. I believe this is the safest pickup option in high traffic. So if I don't have space and I really gotta get through uh, defenders in a tight space, it is the safest way to just tuck it so that they can't even get a hand on the ball. And then once I'm at that last step and I'm ready to go up for my layup, then I just untuck and I finish. All right, our next one is a side pin. So this is similar to the double arm cradle, but now we're just cradling with one hand and I'm pinning it to the side of my body. So now we're less worried about that help side defender, right? If, he's, if that help side defender is really reaching in, I don't wanna get the ball to the side of the body. It's a little too dangerous. This is more so when I'm mainly worried about my primary defender. So I'm driving and maybe I have him on my shoulder. Well, I could pin it here. And what does that do? That frees up this arm to go to battle. So now I can go to battle here and get my arm bar on him. So now I can be a little bit more physical with this offhand. Or sometimes you're still dribbling and this arm gets tangled up. Well, that's a situation where we could pin it and then wait till that last moment to bring this hand back. So a lot of situations when you got to fight with this offhand or even on the dribble, sometimes we're swiping and then we go to pick it up, but the underhand pickup is a little too dangerous. So we pin it for a little bit more stability and then bring two hands to the ball and finish, or I can pin it and then just untuck with one hand. And our last pickup option is the wide pickup. So all I'm doing here is on that last pound, I'm getting it to two hands and I'm extending as far as I can laterally. All right, so this again is better for if you're worrying about your primary defender reaching in. If I had a help side defender, I wouldn't want to extend that far because it's obviously going to be closer to them and it's going to be exposed. But there's so many situations where you're not worrying about a help side defender. And all you got to do is pick this up safely against your defender. And obviously, as you pick up, a lot of times your defender is reaching in. So in this situation, I'm picking up, I'm extending as far as I can and then I'm keeping it wide as I go up into my layup. And so you'll notice I'm keeping it wide here. And then as I get into that one hand layup, this hand can come here for a little bit of extra separation with that arm bar. Now, sometimes people do well extending and then bringing it back for a little bit of rhythm and then extending again. But of course, it just depends on the situation. If you have a really aggressive defender who's reaching in, you don't want to bring it back for rhythm. You want to be able to just bring it up on the side of your body and get straight into that little hook shot or that point guard extendo, as I like to call it. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you hit a thumbs up if you like it and be sure to subscribe for more valuable content coming soon. Let me know what you want to learn next in the comments. Go build.